Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. Soul Family Read is for the 13th of October, Wednesday. I know this because I looked it up. <laughs> time, 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 and I. It's a thing, it's a thing. You know, I punch time in the face, punches me in the face. We're, we're bros, we're bros. <laughs> um, I just don't care <laughs> what day of the week it is. Deep down in my soul. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't care. <coughs> Once again, I have recovered from death. And, uh, you know, Sagittarius, we have nine lives. So, <clears throat> on my mind today, and yesterday, the only thing I did was this whole family read. So, I'm all backed up for readings. I don't care. I do care, but, like, I can't really do anything about it. I'm going to get on it today. Um, and I might lose my voice. And, you know... <laughs> And I was thinking yesterday, I probably could have done a reading, but it, it would have just sounded ridiculous because I could not breathe through my nose. And by the way, I hate mouth breathing. So anyway, I shuffled. On my mind uh, today um, is the sun's, for me, kind of, I've learned this reading's about me, so I can't like, I love it because I can't fake it. I, le I need to ad address the day kind of to where I'm at. And hopefully if you're in the soul tribe, then, then you'll relate. And I'll, I'll try to broaden as much as I can. Make it inclusive. I say inclusive rather than a exclusive, you know. For a lot of reasons. It uses less energy. But, you know, self-negation, uh, sun square, the nodes, not being able to be yourself. The sun's yourself. Just you want to be happy. You know, it's uh, not just my opinion, you know, but uh, Phil from astrology. It's, sun is important. The basic thing you learn is just this one thing. Uh, but that it is really important, I think, that we all express our sun cells. You know, I really haven't for decades, and I, it's almost killed me. And this is the problem. If we do not express our sun cells uh, for a prolonged length of time, I believe, illness will set in, physical illness, and, you know, all kind of mental, emotional problems. I appreciate shell phone. You know, ethereal visions, illuminated tarot today, guys. But uh, this for me is a natal position. I'm working on an article on it. Um, very hard for me to be linear again with the time. So I have to really bear down on it. So I want to do two readings because uh, on my mind is the sun today. I'm going to go through the deck and find the sun. Maybe I use my glasses for this. I don't know. I really don't need to. Um, and uh, then we'll do a regular reading. So give me a minute to find our sun card today. I'm going to see. I just got a feeling. When I woke up thinking about Part of it is I feel kind of overwhelmed. I've been sick lately. It's like I really want to do this, finish this article. I keep getting into other ones and finish them because they're much easier. This is big. And so, you know, I guess it's on my mind when I wake up thinking about it. But I just, to me, it's like pay attention to what I, I'm not telling anybody else to do it, but I like to pay attention to uh, my card, Temperance, <laughs> Sagittarius, I like my card. Um, yeah, but, you know, I pay a lot of attention to first things on my mind. It's always positive now, that's huge. <laughs> I used to wake up with some horrors on my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and okay, here we are. So, we're not going to do the reversals. Ah, sorry. So, we'll put this up front. Look at what this is. Wow. And I'm feeling it. Oh, again, I can't hide. Thank you, Spirit. I want to hide. I'm ready. I'm like, you know what? You throw it in here, universe, hard and fast, like we always do. And you leave it up to me to hit it back. So, you know, why not? You know? We went through all the trouble to incarnate. Uh, why not play? I don't need the whole deck. Let's take these cards. So we're just looking at a little three-card read. We're going to see what just happened to be in my deck, you know, after I shuffled uh, around the sun. And you had the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords surrounding the sun. Now, I hope you can see that. that that's something right there. I mean, again, this deck, I should do it right now. If you know nothing about uh, tarot, look just look at that 
And how does it make you feel? This is the sun. This is the self. Your sun sign in astrology. Just being free. Being able to be yourself. And not having to explain yourself. Not having to feel not understood. Not having to feel like somehow Mars energy. You can't do things that express yourself. You can't verbally say things. Mercury issues with the sun in, that express yourself. You know. You can't love and be loved the way you feel like you should or want to love and be loved. Issues with Venus. But here we have the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. That being pretty boxed in right there. I mean, if, if, if you're into evolutionary astrology, which, you know, I have been for a while. I'm not really bearing down on it yet. Just little poco e poco. My mind is not, you know, so grand that... You know, a lot of people, what they're asking me about, you know, uh, astro geography and everything. I'm like, you know, I just can't do it. You know, I got to like, I only got so many brain cells, right? So just mastering uh, regular astrology is still my goal. Um, but here, you know, with the sun square, the nodes, if you just Google that, um, you get the energy of it. Of, in that self, that sun self, uh, you know, this is like uh, Ace of Swords. Um, in this instance, I believe it's like uh, the mind, you know, uh, presenting something and Mercury, and um, it's not um, really helpful, uh, helpful, yeah. And the self hearing it, it's just like negative self-talk, you kind of say a negative self-talk. And what does it do? It puts us in this two of swords energy. And this is like, I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. And I talked about the high priestess yesterday, and I'm feeling it now. It's like my voice telling me, that's what the high priestess is for. And the son can also be the king and the queen of the kingdom. And who do they rely upon for advice? The high priestess. Thank you, Spirit. I'm getting this for myself now as I read. It's nice. Um, yeah. So that's the answer. When we're in this two of swords energy, it's hard to think your way out of that. You know, thinking your way out at this point is kind of like you're stuck in the sand. You just keep gunning it and gunning and gunning and gunning it for the rest of your life. You ain't getting out of that hole. You got to do something else, you know. And uh, to me, this is all about spirituality. And, you know, my progressed son is only a few years away from Pisces. And I, for a long time, felt like I'm either going to die or I'm going to be somehow, like, enlightened or just not going to have ego. It's going to be different. I definitely have ego. So, um, that's interesting. I just got feeling off of that sun read. And um, let's get a little energy on, see where we get. Get this back here. And do a four card pull for hump day. <laughs> right? Uh, that's in the back of my mind. Hmm. So, there goes the High Priestess I saw flying by. So, homage. Really, it comes down to me more and more. The only real way to understand things, the only real solace, uh, the only real security is in the spirit. Uh, belief. That's it. Everything else... Saturn's Ballywick, it's gonna go. But I understand this, and I tell Saturn, you do what you want. It's my soul, I was never born, I'll never die. You're, you're nothing to me, to my eternal self, Saturn. You're gonna die yourself in a few billion years when the, you know, sun, you know, eventually this whole universe will expand to some point where it's negation or whatever. It's like, but what we are, I'm not really, we're just here. It's like we wear this universe the way we wear this body, you know. Uh, I have such a strong sense of that nowadays, like this body machine. It's like I look at my hand, like, damn, look at that. Look at my hand. Like, <laughs> oh, let's see. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. I like it. This coming in solid. You know, I love the Queen of Pentacles. You know, it's just like I said, who does the king and queen call upon you know the high priestess but a queen of pentacles she's going to take the high priestess advice or she might not but if she doesn't it's going to be a real good reason she's going to consider it 
because this, you know, look how peaceful. It's kind of a Venusian energy, too, to this uh, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, in my mind, you know, um, I think she's the one that would be in line to be the Empress, the most solid uh, queen, male or female, energy. A little difference from the king, you know, it's a little softer, a little more divine feminine, a little more receptive rather than divine masculine projective. Um, and this is a very soft queen, if you just look at the picture and see, you know, how that makes you feel. So, you know, being at ease with ourselves, being at peace with ourselves, being solid. You know, it's hard to shake a queen of pentacles. We're not going around like, look at me, look at me. Do you like me? Do you love me? Oh my God, are you going to leave me? It's like we're good. Good. This takes some maturity, too, to get here. I'm not saying you can't get there when you're young. Uh, but, you know, uh, you would see it in the chart. You know, you'd be set up. I've worked with a lot of people, a lot of psychics, a lot of healers, energy workers, and I see the young people that I know are real and are practicing, and you see it in the charts, how they're set up to engage in their life purpose early. Usually for most of us, it's like the north node signifies a lot, the nodal axis or life purpose, even the ascendant energy is a lot of that uh, uh, purpose we rise to and grow into. Um, it takes us till later in life. That did me. I've kind of known it for a while. I was psychic told me that when I was 17. So, uh, but uh, right now, whether you're young, whether you're old, you're in this really good energy of being solid. I would say with this, you can trust yourself. Uh, it's hard for people to take you off. There's a Capricorn energy to this, Saturn energy, Saturn energy. I just said in a post today on the Saturn group on Facebook, I said, you know, I think I, someone asked, like, how did your Saturn return hit you? And I said, it's my second. And it just got me right in line. I'm Saturn's boy now. More Saturnine than I've ever been. And I don't even, I see through astrology, I learned, in order to be spiritual, in order to be Pisces, in order to really let go, you have to be grounded in the Saturn stuff or you're smoking opium or something. That's the downside of the Pisces, the addiction. You're just escaping reality. Without grounding to Saturn, and this is a good job, okay? You, you, but now, from this position, you can go, you know, into that Neptune world in a real spiritual way. It's not any kind of, what did I say earlier? I saw my card, and there's the advice from spirit. What was I talking about? I'm not able to be myself. So this is like temperance in reverse. Temperance is being comfortable with ourselves. Temperance, the reason Sagittarius card, why? You know anything about Sagittarius? We're, we're not patient. <laughs> We're not patient at all. Uh, excuse me. I had a sore throat. I need coffee because it's very healing. But uh, temperance is patient. You know, see the balance of the water, of the emotions, uh, because everything's cool. And it's just being, and this is so much the energy I'm really literally praying for. This is my intention now. I get it now. I'm not worried. My arrows are out. <laughs> And now it's about me and exactly having temperance. So I know this is the challenge. And, and when we have this, it's like we're not worried about stuff. You know, I, I've been involved a lot of Virgos. I'm a Virgo rising. And one of the things really with Sag doesn't work, it's like we don't like uptight. And we don't like worry. And the Sag energy, the Jupiter energy, you know. Um, and that's why temperance is the card for Sagittarius. When we're operating at our highest uh, octave, again, balance like this Queen of Pentacles in the Saturn energy, not just going off half cock, not just smoking an opium pipe, same energy with Jupiter also rules Pisces, say. You know, here we'd just be going off half cock, pretending everything's all right. No, this is really having our life in balance and everything's good. There's no drama. There's no problems with this. So you have this peace. But, you know, you got to that by being the Queen of Pentacles. And so here's Spirit saying, that's the thing that's standing between us in real peace. It's just sort of like existing in this peace that we've created and sort of realizing, I realized today I'm dead broke, you know, but everything's paid for, we got food, um, everything's fine, actually. It's been a hard month, we've accomplished a lot. I'm not unhappy about it. And I'm all about taking risks right now. It's like... Uh, uh, grounded in Saturn as a maybe, 
you know, I'm, Ju I'm, I'm Jupiter's boy too, and Jupiter's, uh, you know, my cavalier. And uh, yeah, I'm taking fantastic risks, but calculated. So thank you, Spirit. Now, this is the advice from Spirit. Healing. <laughs> thank you, Spirit. <laughs> so, healing. Advice from Spirit. Give us time for healing. I'm on it. It's like uh, 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 constantly the messages I've been getting for months and months and months is slow down, slow down, heal, slow down. You know, I'm back up to five readings. And so I'm pushing it as hard as I can. I, I feel the resistance from Spirit, and I've, I've always been headstrong and spiritually headstrong. I'm not a woo-woo person. You know, um, sometimes uh, I say fuck you to all the plants, frankly. You know, and I'm going to do what I want. And right now I'm in Mars energy and I'm pushing as hard as I can, but it's, it's not that hard. It's just I kind of get it that spirit's saying, take it easy, take it easy. My nurse girlfriend is here at, at same energy. Grounded, she is temperance, she represents it. Pisces moon embodies the energy of being whole and centered and peaceful and non-dramatic and okay. And we come in with the queen of pentacles here. Um, I feel like it's at the end of a powerful transformation. It's still around Lionsgate this year. You've got to go back to 8-8 if you know how to run a chart. If you don't, that's what I'm here for. Look at my links. Really go back to 8-8 and look at where your energy was around that time. When Mars and Venus hit, where was your energy? You really have to look at these to get an idea of what the next 20 or 30 year cycle is going to be. That's what we're dealing with here. So we're finishing up the world in tarot, the last major arcana, and we're beginning now this new fool's journey. All of us, somehow, it's going to last 20 or 30 year cycles, kind of the rest of my life, you know. Unless I'm very lucky. Saturn's boy here. I'm doing the tighten up with a six house transit. It's all about health and daily routine. I'm on it. It's all I'm about. I'm in this energy right now. I told my girlfriend, it's like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to be Airbnb and I want to chill because I'm not ready. I, if I make a decision right now about life, I'll mess it up. I don't mind getting married. That's not the thing because that's not questioned so strong with me. But it's like, you know, where to live, what exactly to do, what steps to take. It's like my sense is just like, relax and give it a minute. <laughs> And I think that's what that Four of Swords is here. You know, whatever we're trying to do, whatever we're trying to manifest, you know, it it it'll be it'll be here. And we just it's cool. We can give it a minute. We have time to heal. There's no rush. Now I really like to see the Knight of Wands as an outcome. Because I think that we're near the end of a transformation. And what happens at the end of a transformation? The butterfly dries its wings in the sun, or the moth dries its wings in the moonlight, and then afterwards it flies off into life. I mean, is there anything more beautiful than the moth in the moonlight and a beautiful butterfly? Does it not always, almost anyone, doesn't it catch your attention to see this beautiful butterfly go by you and land on the flowers near you? Can you, can you kind of stop, smell the roses for a minute? The power of a butterfly, maybe Google butterfly as a message angel right now because it's really uh, coming up on my Facebook post link below my Facebook page. I did a prose poem about butterflies. It becomes relevant. But this is going out on the mission. What do knights do? They go out on a mission, not necessarily to war, on a mission. Mars, action. What was I just saying? Mars, I'm ready. Fuck you, Saturn. I'm, you know, I'm coming. Damn it, I'm coming, man. You know? And I'm... Sun square the nodes. Some, you know, ego is necessary here. Not always a bad thing. Tempered, honed, applied. Ego is what gives us the strength to do our work. You can't be a knight of wands without ego. It's all about balancing. It's like anything else. Everything's on a spectrum. We're always trying to balance it. To me, it's what it's all about. Fucking light, man. I'll take peace. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by enlightenment. Sometimes, like, what are you going to put a, light, a brighter bulb in the ceiling and trick me? I'll just take the peace. Now, 
overall energy, Nine of Pentacles, especially going with the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel this too. I'm okay. <laughs> I've never been more solid in my life. I've never been more happy in my life. Um, I have Saturn in the fifth house. I have the Sun square the nodes. I do not have a light heart. I never have. I never was a child. I watched the children my whole childhood thinking like, oh, you know, like they're children. You know, who are they? You know, not really being able to quite relate to them and trying to relate to adults. Saturn in the fifth house like an adult and not really understanding that they wouldn't listen to me and they wouldn't understand me. Probably why I have the vocabulary. I have come to think of it. It's like I, I wanted to get adults' attentions and I wanted them to treat me like an adult. You know, I hated being treated like a kid. I go to a friend's house and they would treat me like a little kid, like they treated their son. And I would kind of like set them in their place, kind of, you know. I'd be like, hey, you know, I'm not a little kid. You don't have to condescend. I'd, I'd literally say to a mother of like 12 years old, Man, you do not need to condescend to me. You know, uh, I have the understanding of an adult. You can just talk to me like a normal person. <laughs> Needless to say, cause some issues. But that's what's coming, man. We're going to go on a mission here. And we're grounded and we're cool. But why not? You know, why not do something cool, something fun, take an action, something fiery. It could be falling in love. You know, it could be uh, going out and solving the world's problems. It could be a new job, a new path, new education, new training. But some kind of fire is coming. It's not here. It's not here. I can feel it like coming, 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 coming. Four swords, four swords coming. Maybe four weeks. Four weeks feels good to me because I swear to God, man, October, November, it's going to be a slingshot effect, man. That's what this is. It's coming. It's real close. Thank you, guys.